welcome back, Coach Guess. Uh, so this week, this is a very important week for the football team and Elk as a whole. Can you tell us a little bit about the game this week? Yeah, I mean, we got a big game. Um, play uh, another school that's in our, in our county, Strong Rock Christian Academy. And, um, you know, it's homecoming, so there's going to be tons of people out there uh, watching the football game. And so, you know, alumni are coming back, so they're going to want to see what the football team looks like. And so, I mean, I'm excited about it, you know, and obviously in Elka football, it's, uh, you know, it's just a, it's, a, it's another week. It's another opportunity, and we, uh, you know, our, our theme all year long is to get better each and every day, get better each week. So, hey, we had a great game last week versus Our Lady of Mercy, played really well. Uh, we want to make sure that we continue to progress. Hopefully that we're playing better this week than we did last week. Uh, the coolest thing I think about this season is, is each week we have gotten a little bit better. Uh, so we're heading into game eight, and hopefully that trend keep, continues. So as you said, this is, uh, this is game eight, and you know the team has really been progressing a good bit over, over the season. Uh, you know I think we've addressed this before, but really based off what you've seen lately, uh, what are your expectations for, you know, going into the playoffs and the regional championships and so forth? Well, right now, you know, we are, I think we're 6-1. And, one, and uh, the first goal is always to win the region championship. So, hey, we have to take care of this game uh, tonight. We've got to take care of the game next week. But uh, the two, two of the teams that, that were, are in the tops of the division, Holy Innocence and, um, and Our Lady of Mercy, we've already beat them. Um, so hopefully we can take care of Strong Rock tonight, and then we have Pace Academy next week, and then the big games looming that I think everybody's looking forward to against Landmark, and that'll be for the region championship. And, you know, not only will it be for the region championship, but it'll be for the possibility of being a number one seed going into the playoffs, which, of course, we want, and that's the goal. Um, so obviously all the, the short-term goal is the region championship. The, the, the overall goal of any program is the state championship. So. Uh, we just want to make sure that we head into that, the number one seed, um, and we put ourselves in a position uh, to be successful each and every Friday night. All right. And uh, so what are your expectations? Uh, I know a lot of the times you say, you know, you're, we're going to work hard, but, you know, would you have any expectations for uh, the Strong Rock game tonight? Yeah, we have, we have uh, expectations that we dominate the game, and that's our expectations each and every week. You know, we practice – each and every week, we don't care who our opponent is. You know, we don't look, oh, man, this team's good or this team doesn't have a good record. We don't look at things like that. We look at ourselves. We focus on what we're doing and are we getting better. And, and you know, and we watch film from practice and, hey, are, are you doing the right thing here? Are you getting better? You know, so it doesn't matter who we play because it's so important that we get better each week. Um, and, and, and we know this. We know that if Elka does not beat Elka, we're going to win the football game. We really, truly believe that. We believe we have the best football team um, in the state in our classification. And so it is, is extremely important that we continue to progress and we continue to get better. And at each and every game that we go out there, we don't make mistakes and we dominate the football game. We dominate the line of scrimmage um, and we physically um, beat our opponent. And that's our goal each and every game. All right. Now, you mentioned uh, improving watching film. Can you tell us a little bit about what uh, the coaches and what the players are doing to actively improve after every single game? Uh, well, uh, I think the key thing that we do is the kids come in at 6 a.m. on Monday morning and we go over every play of the previous game. So for about an hour and a half, we sit there and watch film. The starters come in and we watch film. Then Monday, we hit the practice field and it's a very uh, physical run intensive day. Uh, we focus on the run game, both their run game and our run game. So it's a very physical day. Uh, uh, condition, and after we finish practice, we come back in and we watch film again for 30 minutes on our opponent. This is their formations. This is what they do. Um, this is what they're going to do in this situation. This is what we've seen. This is their personnel. Come back Tuesday. Um, on Tuesday, uh, it's the same situation. It's a pass-intensive day. But it's a fun day because at the end of practice for about for the last 25, 20 minutes, it's a very uh, it's a our offensive pass game goes against our starting defense um, and we're running plays against them and they know it's pass and they're coming after us. And it's a tough situation. And what we want to create is a little bit adversity for the offense. I mean, obviously, we have two defensive one cor defense, def D1 corners. I mean, excuse me. 
two D1 defensive ends, uh, and it's hard to block them. And they're coming after Dalton, and they're, and they're making our offensive line work. So we come back in after that, and we watch film of that practice on Tuesday. Our offensive, line, our offensive players come in at 7 a.m. on Wednesday morning to watch film. Uh, defensive line was in this morning at 7 a.m. to watch film. Uh, so these are things that we do. Wednesdays is, is a practice day that it's got all phases of the game in it. We work everything. We, we probably rep about 120 plays during that time. We film it all. So today we'll go out and practice for about 40 minutes, just walk through some things, come back in. Defense will go watch their whole practice. Offense will watch our whole practice, correct all the mistakes. So hopefully tomorrow night everything's flawless. All right, and going into this next game, uh, have there been any players that have really stood out uh, more than usual maybe? Um, you know, last week we had a, a kid that uh, – Davis Reynolds. He had two interception returns for a touchdown. Uh, he had a 40-yard interception return and a 70-yard interception return. And uh, that kind of shocked us. I mean, Davis Reynolds really stepped up last week. It was, it was, it was awesome. He was where he was supposed to be. He was doing his job. And, um, and on, on that given night, you know, he stepped up. I, I want to. Um, I think the offensive line played really well. Uh, our defense overall played amazing. Uh, I thought it was their best game uh, that I've seen. Uh, they only gave up 120, 130 yards of total offense, no points. Um, I think they they caused four turnovers uh, offensively. Give the offensive line uh, um, their credit because Keontae had 10 yard, 10 rushes for 175 yards, which 17 and a half yards a carry, which is pretty insane. Um, Dalton did well, uh, you know, receivers did great. So, uh, man, we're just playing all – hopefully each and every week we can congratulate the whole team because that means we played an overall great game. Of course, of course. So, all right, that's it for this week, and best of luck versus Strong Rock. Thank you. Thank you, guys.